I am Ahed. I am from Syria. I have been living for three years and eight months in Scotland. Before I come to Scotland, I lived in Lebanon for five years. I come directly from Lebanon to Scotland. Now I live with my husband and three boys. Usually our dinner depends what the family likes to eat, like pastry, omelette eggs, uh, cheese sandwiches, steak bread with tea or milk. I will start to talk about Monday lunch. The meal today is falafel. The falafel needs to be prepared about 30 minutes. The ingredients are garlic, onion, cardamom powder, and cumin powder, and chickpeas. But the chickpeas need soak in the water from the night before. Here I have to grind all the ingredients together to make them ready for frying. The meal on Tuesday, it is shakriya. Shakriya ingredients are lamb meat, onion, yogurt, rice, and it needs one hour to be prepared. The meal on Wednesday, it is mujaddara. Mujaddara ingredients are fine burger or rice with lentil and fried onions. This meal need one hour preparing and we eat next to it some yogurt cucumber salad. On Thursday, I fried some fast food and tabbouleh. It is kind of salad. It is really delicious. On Friday meal, mensaf. Ingredients are chicken, rice, nuts, special spices. It need two hours to prepare it. We have next to it fatouche, salad, and yogurt. On Saturday, chicken and meat barbecue. We eat beside it salad and baba ganoush. Baba ganoush ingredients, aubergine and some little of yogurt and tahiniya and lemon juice. On Sunday, we have lentil soup and kubba. Kubba ingredients are soft fine burger, minced meat, nuts, onion, pepper, and mint. This meal needs a long time, about three hours. My name's Marty. I live in Glasgow. I'm 
born in Scotland and I live with my partner, my two children and one grandson. On Monday I'm usually scraping up what's left for dinner because I go shopping on a Tuesday. So I'd maybe have pasta with like Lloyd's Grossman's tomato and chilli sauce. I stir that through the pasta. I would have this with bird's eye crispy chicken. My partner, he doesn't eat anything like that so I would make him fish from the freezer and into the oven. This would take about 30 to 45 minutes. On Tuesday I'd cook chicken fajitas. First I'd heat the pan with a little oil in it and then I would mix my chopped chicken breast with a packet of fajita seasoning. I'd fry this for about 10 minutes. Then I would add chopped peppers and onions and fry for a further 20 minutes. I'd then place the tortilla wraps in the micro for about 40 seconds. Then I'd put some chicken into the wrap with the veg and salsa and sour cream and mozzarella and then wrap it up. My daughter doesn't eat chicken, she went off it when she was pregnant, so she just has vegetable for his. And my partner visits his sister on a Tuesday, so I don't need to cater for him. On Wednesday, I like to cook something really quick and easy, because I babysit my grandson. So I don't want to spend the time at the cooker that I need to be spending with him. So I would buy ready-made pizzas from Aldi and Morrison's. And my son and my partner only like margaritas. So me and my daughter will have pepperoni and they'll have margaritas. With this I'll have onion rings that I can shove in the oven. The whole thing only takes me around 15 to 20 minutes. On a Thursday we would have square sausage fried with mashed potatoes and spring onions and beans. I fry my sausage, steak slice, it's got to be the best. Boil and mash my potatoes and chop spring onions and mix them through it. I put beans in the micro for about 2 or 3 minutes. My son will only eat plain mash and sausages so I dish up his first. This meal takes me around 40 to 60 minutes to prepare, but is good because everyone else eats it. Friday, I would make chicken curry. I dice and fry my chicken for about 20 minutes or so, and then I add Sharwood's Rogan Josh sauce. I microwave the rice pouches for two minutes, and I bake pre-made naan breads for less than 10 minutes. I dish up my son's and my partner's meal first. Then to mine, I add mango chutney and slices of banana. My daughter also has this, minus the chicken. This meal takes around 50 to 60 minutes. Saturday, I make pesto pasta. This involves boiling the pasta and stirring through the pesto. My son takes his at this point with parmesan shavings. To the remaining pasta, I add fried bacon, peppers and cherry tomatoes, seasoned with chilli and garlic. We would eat this with garlic bread and parmesan. It also takes about 50 to 60 minutes to prepare. On this day, I would make bird's eye chicken burgers for my partner, usually with peas. On Sunday, we like to have a more kind of traditional meal, for example, steak pie. I don't make my own. I would buy the biggest one from the supermarket and cook it in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. We have this with roast potatoes and carrots and peas. This dinner takes around an hour to cook. I don't enjoy cooking, so this is the maximum amount of time that I would have to spend on dinner. My son doesn't like traditional meals though, so I would have to make him pasta with a jar of tomato and basil sauce. In the end, I want to advise you to keep your family around you and eat all this meals together to keep your family happy.